When a narcissist is confronted with people that they can't control. In today's video, we'll go over a few tips that, if implemented, can drive narcissists absolutely nuts. Greetings and thank you for joining us again on this episode. A narcissist is a selfish individual who uses others to further his own interests. They're extremely harmful to interact with. Our value to them is strictly as stepping stones. The narcissist primarily cares about himself and their own needs are incomparable to anything. For a narcissist, nothing is more frustrating than being in the company of someone they can't manipulate. It's likely that the narcissist wouldn't be able to tolerate any of this person's other qualities, making them an even more formidable foe. These people are the worst possible thing that could happen to a narcissist and might send them completely insane. To a narcissist, the possibility of defeat is intolerable. To a narcissist, defeat in any form, be it a game or a relationship, is a painful reminder that they are not in charge. Even the possibility of it happening is enough to send them completely insane. That's why they're willing to resort to any means necessary to eliminate the threat posed by these individuals. Someone who can push a narcissist over the edge is someone who exemplifies every trait the narcissist despises in others. Today, I'll talk about some of the things people do that make narcissists the most angry. If you have at least two of these traits, the narcissist will lose interest in you very quickly if you can keep your cool. First, people who care a lot about their limits. First, a narcissist can be pushed into a corner by someone who knows and respects their limits. In other words, narcissists should never think that these people aren't worth much. These people have no desire to follow what other people say. If narcissists try to force their will on these people, they will get a loud and clear no. Narcissists are most likely to dislike you the most if you stick to your beliefs and don't give in. When their right to other people's lives or time is questioned, narcissists get very angry. This will drive them crazy, especially if you stand in their way over and over again. People who are brave and don't have any fear. The second requirement is for people who don't have any fear of the narcissist. When they need to, these people have little trouble confronting or correcting a narcissist. To stop it, they would also point out the narcissist's lies and dishonesty. They won't even give it a second thought before telling the narcissist off. So it's only natural that narcissists would have trouble getting along with these people, since they can't relax around them. Third, someone who doesn't care about what the narcissist does. The third criterion is someone who isn't impressed by the narcissist which shows that they haven't bought into the narcissist's made-up self-image. It's not easy to notice or praise a narcissist's accomplishments. Before getting close, they want proof that the person they're getting to know is who they say they are. They don't want to meet new people or get to know more people. So it takes a lot more than a kind smile and a perfect appearance to trust someone. Obviously, narcissists who only know how to talk and have no proof of what they've actually done can't get along with each other. Fourth, someone who makes a narcissist feel like they don't matter. The fourth kind of person is one who makes the narcissist feel small. From what I've said so far, it's clear that this person doesn't trust the narcissist and wants to avoid them whenever possible. So narcissists won't invite them to their homes and they won't accept invitations from narcissists. This person doesn't want to spend any more time with the narcissist than they have to. So where the narcissist acts strangely, they are more likely to ignore or grey rock him or her. So the narcissist wouldn't even have a chance to plant their devil's seeds in these people. The narcissist might still have something to back up their plan, but they'd have to think about it a lot before they were ready to take on the challenge. Fifth, the successful person is more successful than the narcissist. The worst thing for a narcissist is to know someone who is more successful or has something the narcissist doesn't have. In one case, the narcissist is not married and the other person is. Or the narcissist might not have a car or a house, or the other person does. Even though the narcissist might not be able to go anywhere, the other person can. Even small things like these are enough to drive narcissists crazy. Even in the simplest ways, a narcissist doesn't want other people to have or do something they can't. Narcissists are envious people who hate it when other people do better than them. The sixth and last criterion for today 
is a person who can do things on their own. A person with a free spirit enjoys life and follows their dreams no matter what other people think. They don't care what other people think about them or how they look. Narcissists don't like people who are happy on their own, but people with free spirits are usually happy and easygoing most of the time. In the eyes of narcissists, people who show real happiness and joy are very annoying. The narcissist will never be able to have what these other people have, and just thinking about it makes them go crazy. Narcissists dislike people who talk more than they do, because it makes them feel less important than other people. Also, people who don't mind admitting when they are wrong are much more valuable. Narcissists love to talk about how great they are and brag about what they have done. Some of the well-known things they do are complain, talk about other people, and tell funny stories. Most of what narcissists say is made up. The worst thing for a narcissist is someone who talks a lot and tells the truth. This is because a person with a strong personality can get people's attention and draw them in. And in the end, it all comes down to one word. Real. It's the thing that ties together all of the things I just talked about. The phrase genuine character means that a person is honest in everything they do. Whenever you work with them, you'll get exactly what you expect. Narcissists, on the other hand, are fake and insincere, and they think everyone else is the same as them. The narcissist thinks that honest people have no place in the world. Everyone must do the same thing they do. The narcissist will feel angry, frustrated, and uncomfortable around these people, which will make them want to hide away. This person also has the benefit of knowing more about how narcissists work. Narcissists know that they can't fool this person, or that it would be very hard, and that this person has a good chance of finding out who they really are. Narcissists usually come up with an escape plan or do everything they can to stay away from people who meet these criteria so they don't become targets. These people are on the side of the truth, which narcissists hate so much. Not only is this person honest with themselves, but they are also honest with everyone else they talk to. Narcissists would avoid them because they don't mind hearing or telling the truth. Narcissists are afraid of these people because they are everything the narcissist doesn't have. These traits and actions are a clear sign of the truth that can stop narcissists from doing bad things. Narcissists can only try to plant seeds of doubt and suspicion, hoping that some of them will grow or that they will find someone who agrees with them about the person they are trying to control. If they want to get rid of this person, they need to put their heads together and think of something. When narcissists can't control or change someone, they become hostile toward that person. In particular, the worst nightmares of narcissists are people who have a number of the traits I've talked about today. Because they are always honest, have clear boundaries, and don't like the narcissist, they don't show fear around the narcissist. They are telling the truth. They have a great way of thinking. They have a healthy respect for life and for themselves, as well as a sense of awe. Even though this may not be the most important thing, they can tell them it's dangerous and stay away from them. The narcissist can't do anything about this. This is the end of the video for today. I hope this information is helpful to you. If you have any questions or thoughts, please feel free to leave them in the section below. Consider subscribing to our channel and clicking the bell icon below the video to get news about new videos. We appreciate you listening. Thanks.